Hello, everybody. Welcome to Coffee Break with Terra by Laura. Good morning. How's everybody doing today? Today is my niece's birthday. Karen, happy birthday, honey. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, comitas. Happy birthday to you. I love you, Karen. I hope you have a very, very good happy birthday. And, um, you know, Facebook has this weird algorithms now, and I cannot see people is watching the video. Oh, hi, Judith. Good morning. It's Karen's birthday, my niece's birthday. She is... She was born on a day like today at, I think, 8.30 in the morning. She She's always been a morning person. So, happy birthday, Karen. And I'm trying to record this video. Okay, there we go. So, um, today we're going to be learning the card of the day. And... Uh, of course, I invite you to keep joining me for meditations Tuesdays and Thursdays, Tuesday night. If you speak English, Tuesday night on the Fraternity of the God of Chicago, Fortuna Temple page. If you speak Spanish on the Fraternidad de la Diosa, Templo de la Diosa on Spanish, of course. That's on Thursdays. And um, the coffee breaks that I will keep doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I am doing online readings at discount prices. And I am also doing um, distance Reiki healing at basically half a price. That I'm doing half a price. The readings are getting like a 25% discount. So, you know, for the time being, since we're all inside, at the end of the month, I will have a class. And um, it's going to be a Ojo de Fortuna online class towards the end of the month. I cannot tell you because my calendar is not here, but I think it's going to be the last Friday of the month. So anyway, I know Judith is watching. Who else is watching? Please comment so I can see you all. I can see who's watching because there's no Facebook style. I can't see anything. And, of course, we're on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter, on Instagram. <laughs> we're everywhere. We're everywhere. I'm using the Rider Y. Smith Tarot. For I think this is the best tarot for teaching. And today's card is... Dun, 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 dun. Today's card is the Four of Coins. And I don't know if we have this card reverse the other day or if it was right side up. But this guy came out already one time. So we're going to do two cards today because I think this guy came already uh, one time. So what he will say right side up is, you know, hold on to what you have. Hold on to, the, to your resources. All the things that you've been working really hard for. Keep to yourself. Um... He gets a bad rep of being um, kind of like um, kind of like a Scrooge type of guy, you know, like cheap, <laughs> holding on to his money. It's not like that. It's, you know, he's worked so hard. He's in such an orderly place making his money or keeping his health. Because remember, coins could be about money and also could be about health. And so, you know, we've been told to, <clears throat> excuse me, to be grounded and to have order in our life and to conserve our resources. So that will be uh, the one card because I think we have this guy before. I'm going to pull the second card. And it's this one. And we have the Knight of Cups. And knights are usually representing movement, right? There will be a card that represents movement, something that is moving forward. And 
this guy is carrying precious cargo. He's carrying a cup. And our cups represent our emotions, how we feel, how we react emotionally towards certain things. And I think this night is telling us to move forward emotionally, to be cautious, to remember that we have to pay attention to our emotions as we move forward. So that will be my interpretation of the card. But how do we learn the card? How do we understand what the card means? Well, the people of the court have a lot of little different meanings and in, in they carry a whole lot of wisdom and a whole lot of um, knowledge with them. And the first part that we're going to learn about them is the knights represent a demographic of young people. Think college age people or people who act like they are on their 20s, right? Um, definitely is not exactly representing that age, but people who act that way. And hi, Anjanine. And they also represent people who are not as childlike like the pages. The pages represent teenagers, definitely. And the knights represent, you know, like the older, little older demographics, still young. And, but not teenagers, you know, kind of like 20 somethings. And the element of cups, the cups represent our emotions, our feelings, how we react towards certain situations in our life, um, and how we are feeling emotionally. Then we have the horse, and horses always represent movement, right? We're talking about linear movement, linear, linear movement, moving forward, moving towards in our life, um, taking action and being um, able to overcome things and kind of like not being static and scared, but rather like moving forward. And so this guy moving forward is saying you know let's let's take care of ourselves emotionally because that's what the cup is saying while we move forward and i think it's very um telling that we have this card today for we all are living i don't need to tell you what uh we all are going through the same emotional burdens i asked last night on my page if i was the only one having random headaches and the answers have been pouring down everybody's having headaches everybody's being you know upset kind of like not feeling themselves and it, it totally makes sense you know we are living some trying times and right now this night of cups to me it pretty much represents that you know we're we're trying to learn how to cope with this situation with the fear with the anger with uh the frustration um the uncertainty of it all and the knight uh, is saying, you know, we have to thread lightly. Think about, literally, think about being on a horse holding a cup of water. You know, you have to be very cautious, making sure your water don't spill. So this is what it's telling us is like, move forward, but make sure you take care of your emotions. And remember, folks, no emotion is bad. We don't have bad or negative emotions. We have emotions that are there to uh, give us warnings and give us, you know, pay attention to this or pay attention to that. And anger, despair, hopelessness. Um, there are very much emotions that are surfacing right now because the uncertainty of it all. And um, to be falsely positive and to be saying like, oh, it's okay, we're going to be okay, it's going to pass in two minutes, that'll be, you know, irresponsible. We all are having moments when we are not emotionally stable and that is okay. It's okay not to be okay and it's okay to be genuine and to say, yeah, you know what, I'm having a really bad day today, today I don't want to get up from the bed 
and that's okay. Stay in bed. But if the next day you feel like, okay, today I'm going to write the next novel that is going to be worldwide recognized, then that day you get up and you write the novel. Take it one day at a time or one minute at a time or one breath at a time. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for watching. I'm saying goodbye to the Instagram folks because that video caps at 10 minutes. And to everybody that joined here live, Judith, Guadalupe, and Janine, Erica, Rose, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Judith. I love you, my sister friend. And thank you, everybody, for watching. If you like these videos, you can share them. And as I was saying earlier, I'm also on Instagram, on YouTube, on uh, Facebook, of course, and on Twitter. And until I see you and I can hug you, never forget that you are loved. Bye-bye.